Hi, welcome to this tutorial on how to solve a trig equation. And in this example, I've picked the equation tan of an angle, theta, equals the square root of 3, a positive number. The method I'm going to use is called the quadrant method. We start first of all by drawing a quadrant diagram, something like this, which goes from 0 degrees all the way round to 360 degrees. Now in an earlier tutorial I told you that in the first quadrant between 0 degrees and 90 degrees all the trig ratios sine, cos and tan were positive. And the only one in the second quadrant between 90 and 180 that was positive was the sine ratio. In the third quadrant only tan was positive and in the fourth quadrant, between 270 and 360 degrees, only cosine, cos for short, was positive. Now in this example, because tan of an angle is positive, positive root 3, we're interested in the first quadrant, where tan is positive, and the third quadrant, where tan is positive. So what we do is we draw a line that's equally inclined to the horizontal line here, always mark in that these two angles are exactly the same size. Next we have to mark in this diagram the range of values of theta that we need for this question. Now in any question that you're given you'll be asked to solve a trig equation in a given range. Now let's just suppose that we're asked to solve this equation for theta, we'll mark it in, for theta between 0 degrees and 360 degrees. Now if that's the case, then going over to the quadrant diagram, I start from 0 degrees, remember that going round this way is to go from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. So what I need to do is start from here and I turn to the first blue line, that one there, and mark this angle in as theta. Then I go back to this line, this starting point here, 0 degrees, start from here and turn all the way round till I get to the next blue line. So mark that in there and stop there. Notice I always put an arrow on here because I help, feel that that helps us say what direction we're turning in. So again, I mark that as theta. In fact, I mark whatever angle this is in over here. So if this said x, obviously I'd mark x. If in another example it said 2x, I would mark this as 2x and so on. OK, now we've got to establish these angles. So what I need to do is get on my calculator and work out what theta is. And so theta will be equal to the inverse tan of the square root of 3. We should really know this one, but if you don't, you can use your calculator anyway. And the inverse tan of root 3 is 60 degrees. So I'll mark that in as 60 degrees. Now you should notice that 60 degrees is an acute angle, an angle between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, so it's an angle in this first quadrant. And clearly that relates to this red angle here, the red theta. And since the red angle is exactly the same as this blue one here, we can mark this in as 60 degrees. And so if this is 60 degrees, then this little angle in here must also be 60 degrees. Now I know that the diagram doesn't really show that this is a true 60 degrees. 60 degrees would be obviously a lot steeper. But that's not the point. The point is this diagram is just going to be used to help us find the red and the green angles. So if we're going to find the green angle it's very easy now because all we've got to do is turn all the way around to here which is 180 degrees and follow it with a further 60 degrees and that's clearly 240 degrees so the green theta is 200 
and 40 degrees. And so there you have it for theta between 0 and 360 degrees, theta equals 60 degrees and 240 degrees. Now, in questions, you don't always necessarily get to be asked to find theta between 0 and 360 degrees. There's other ranges. Let's suppose we take another common range, that is, solve this equation for theta between minus 180 degrees and 180 degrees. Now, if that's the case, all we got to do is draw the quadrant diagram. Let's do it again, just down here. Okay. Following through with what we had before, tan is always positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. Marking the two angles that are exactly the same, always do that to the horizontal. Let's remember that it starts at 0 degrees here. Now, if we're turning for values of theta between minus 180 to 180, then what I can do is, starting from here, I can go to this first blue line, because that certainly is an angle that is less than 180 degrees. So I'll mark that one in. Now, if I turned all the way around here, 90, 180, down to here, that angle is going to be a turn of more than 180 degrees, so it would be out of range. But I am allowed to turn in the negative sense. You may remember from my earlier tutorial on the quadrants that if you turn in this direction, it's a negative direction. So this first angle is minus 90, this is minus 180, then minus 270, and back round to minus 360. So it means that this angle round to here is a possible solution in the range. It's a negative angle, so I'll mark it as the green theta. OK, so to get these angles, all I need to do then is we know that if we inverse tan root 3, OK, what we get is 60 degrees. So mark that in that theta equals 60 degrees and that's clearly the red theta so I'll put that in then as 60 degrees we'll mark this one in because it's the same size as 60 degrees so to get the green theta turning you may remember in this direction right the way around to there would be minus 180 degrees but I don't quite turn the full minus 180 degrees I turn 60 degrees less, so I turn minus 120 degrees. So that would be my other solution, minus 120 degrees. So hopefully you understand this method now and that you can apply it to any trig equation like this in any given range.